Welcome back to Feral Art. How you doing? Mm. This is the Unfiltered Friday, Friday, Friday edition. <laughs> Been a minute. Um, got back from PoorCon, felt poorly, got better, still sort of recuperating energy-wise, but you know, what you gonna do? Um, <coughs> while I was at PoorCon, I assisted in Josie Lewis's jelly printing class. Never done jelly printing. No idea what was involved. Still not much of an idea, but I'm going to give it a shot today. So I got this gel press and I got some fancy schmancy paper and I have some paint here. I have three Arteza paints. I don't know how pearls work with this, but I have pearl banana yellow. I have pearl olive green and pearl lime green. Don't know how they're gonna work. Um, I have my brayer that I use with my um, thing in there. Um, and I've never, actually really used it. My stepdaughter used it because I don't know how to use the Cricut and have no real desire to learn. Although I would like to know how to use it. I just don't want to learn because life's like that. So um, let's just get down here on this gel press plate <laughs> and see what happens. Here we go. There it is. It's weird. It feels like boogers. <laughs> Um, all I really remember is that Josie said, don't use too much paint or boy, will you be sorry? And I watched the people in the class and some of them just kept using too much paint and boy, was it a mess. So these are new just got them out of the box they've been sitting over there for a week or two or three because i thought i had to have them and i was ordering something else from arteza and you know how you do oh look well i'm already getting this one thing i might as well get 25 things all right well fine so um let's see i would like the darker color to be at the bottom so i'm going to boop Boop. Boop. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just going to put a little bit, or what I think is a little bit, and see sort of how much it really is. Because, like I said, never done this before. And uh, the pearl lime green in the middle, that's the pearl olive green on the bottom. And then the pearl banana yeller, banana yeller, up to, oops, toward the top. This stuff comes out quick. There we go. Now, from what I recall, she took her little brayer and just went whoop, whoop, whoop. So, okay. I don't know. I'm just gonna, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Kind of fun spreading it out, though. Kind of. I think, from what I can tell here, the idea is don't press too hard. Just kind of let it spread the paint with the weight of itself. So, all right. Now, I went out in the yard and I collected some uh, green stuff. I don't know. I have some green stuff. I've got all this green stuff. I have some of this green stuff. I have a couple of those. And I've got some Queen Anne's lace. I've got a few of these. I'm not real sure about the correct way to do this. Whoopsies. Pretty sure that's not the correct thing to do. There we go. Anyway. 
You know, if it's not perfect, nobody will be surprised. <laughs> and I've got some of these here. A couple of those. My yard is like a sanctuary for weeds. And that's okay. The bees love it. Got that. This. And a big one, or a bigger one. Couple of little ones. I don't know. Let's try that. I've got some print making paper. Um, relief pra printing and practicing techniques. Well, that's, that sounds about right. So we're going to take a piece of that. From what I recall, she just kind of put it down on there and press with her hands while trying not to move it around. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know how you're supposed to do this. Not really. I didn't try it during the class because I wasn't taking the class. I was assisting in the class. And those are two different things, man. Super different. Okay. I don't know. Let's see what happens. I might have put too much stuff on here. I don't even know. Let's see. Well, that doesn't look very pretty. Maybe I was supposed to just, I don't know what I was supposed to, I don't think that's the answer, Bo, to you? No, I don't think so. All right, let's take all this stuff back off because I think I can probably stick it back on there. Let's see. <laughs> I don't know. Let's try this some more. Now it looks like I need more paint. Great. I don't know how you do this. We all figured out though, maybe. it some more. Maybe it's just too much. I don't know. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to get us another piece of paper. Can we do it on this piece? Yeah. Let's not get too crazy here. I figure the first whole bunch is nothing but learning anyway, so... I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Is this, is this right? <laughs> Maybe I should watch a couple of videos, you think? You can paint all over me, that's cool. I'm used to that. Okay, so here's just the paint. Now the question is, what do I do next? That's kind of cool looking, but I am, I am unsure about what to do next. Uh, let's see. Let's just grab know what to do. I surely don't know what to do. Let's just put a couple back on here. I don't know. 
this doesn't seem right. I think I need lessons. I think I'm doing it right. I just don't think I'm doing it right, you know? I mean, I think this is about right, how to press it. Yeah, that's certainly not it. Nah. Okay, well, that didn't work. That didn't work. Let's wipe this off. I don't know what I'm doing. I do remember she said baby wipes clean this thing off pretty good though. Which seems to be true. You know, I think maybe. I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> I'm disappointed that I tried it the first time and it didn't turn out perfectly. That is such a me thing. Let me tell you. I was not raised to make mistakes. Terrible. If you're raising kids, please don't tell them they're stupid when they make mistakes. Which is a bad idea. Okay, let's wipe this thing off. Now, there's clearly some step that I am 100% missing because that ain't right. Has some kind of cool parts, though, like over here. Maybe I just put too much stuff on there. And this ain't right. Although it's pretty. Now it has flower crumbs in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this all wiped off good. Sort of good, anyway. All right. Dioxazine purple from Liquitex Basics. Lucas Krill Cobalt Blue. Oh, that's what I want. This is a Lucas Krill Indigo. <laughs> Found it. Everybody quit looking. A little Cobalt Blue, I guess, since we have it right here. And I guess some of this silver bronze, which is the weirdest color I've ever seen in my life. It's like it can't decide whether it wants to be silver or bronze. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway. That's probably too much pain. This time, this might be fine. I don't know. I 
got a bunch of these from, I don't know, somewhere. I have some fancier paper, but clearly I don't need to be using it yet. Let's start with a nice stencil and see what we get. Swear to God, if this works, this is the end for today. I am whooped. I went errand running and it's peopley out there. Denise, I think I need a lesson. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Right? Right? <laughs> um, clearly, I need a whole table just to do this with. Now comes the fun part where I go, oh God, now I've got this whole mess to clean up. I'll make our little sandwich like usual. Good grief. I need more stuff, y'all. <laughs> uh, right. Now, Janice told me last night, oh, it's great. You can make layers and layers and layers. And I don't know anything about that, y'all. I don't know anything about how you do this whatsoever. But I'm going to call my one little stencil that I did there a success because it's freaking cute. Make our little sandwich here. Because cleanup is cleanup, right? It doesn't matter whether it has pouring medium or not. You still got to clean these things or else they get all stainy and weird. Okay. Squishy, squishy. All right. So, now I have all this paint on my... What do you do with this? Am I supposed to clean this off? Put more paint on it? Take this paint? What am I supposed to do? I don't know. So, because I don't know what I'm doing. Still pretty, though. Um, I don't know whether I'm supposed to. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. So, I'm going to call that an unqualified win. Uh, you know first time thing uh, <laughs> lose lose sort of win I don't know whether I'm supposed to what I'm supposed to do here let's see since we've still got a little on here I don't know should I do another one um Sure, Kelly, why not? Okay, which one do we want to do? I don't know. I don't know either. Here, this one's kind of cool. What do you think about that? Maybe uh, this one. It seems like there's just not much paint left, but we'll try one more. 
what the heck, right? We're here. There's still paint on there. Seems kind of silly to stop and waste. So I'll just put this on here. And go rub a dub dub. Oh, and we'll move it right off the bat. Brilliant. I don't know where there's even enough left on here to fiddle with. We gonna find out though. Nothing like doing to figure it out, I guess. I really just need to play with these things. Um, and maybe watch a few YouTube videos or talk to my sweet sis Janice who says, Oh, I've done millions of those and made cards. And I'm like, really? Because, uh, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, Janice is a crafty one. She is. If you haven't subscribed to Just Janice and you like multimedia art, why haven't you? Come on. Go over there and do it. She's brilliant. For real, for real. All right. All right, let's see what we got here. Woohoo. Hee hee. Oh, that's kind of neat. I don't think I have another round of paint on there though, but that's cool. I like the, the gradient, a little, little bit of gradient there. Um, so yeah, I don't know. This is gonna be it for the day though, because I am whipped. One, two, three. Oh, that'll do, because I can do this. I can get my other one back up here. It's laying down here in the floor, being very pretty. Look at that. Look at that. Look at those colors. Isn't that nice? Uh, and I can take this. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to stick it on there. I'm going to spray the hell out of it. I mean, if they get stained, you can still friggin' use them, but, you know, I just don't really want them to be stained. There we go. Pat, pat, pat. Got my little pan over there ready to go. All right. So, let's see here. We're going to clean this up again. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder. Let's try this. This is kind of cool. I don't know. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to do. I have no idea. <sighs> Because honestly, during the class, I wasn't paying that much attention. I was busy running around cleaning up messes. So, you know, there we go. Maybe I'm supposed to do this. I don't know. Let's we'll see what happens when you do this. <laughs> I got paint on my finger. Can you see? Oh boy, she's stuck good. Hey, look at that. Oh, that's cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't go flying, jerk. <laughs> All right, now we'll clean it off because it's about cleaned off now anyway. Ooh, this stuff is stacky. Let's give her a, let's get this stuff out of the way. There we go. Let's give it a little wet. There we go. A little wet. Seems like she said something about hand sanitizer. See? Y'all, when I am assisting in a class, I just, I don't glean much knowledge. A, a little. Just from, like, cleaning up after people and going, oh, well, that was the wrong thing to do. But, like, as far as learning a technique, not really. But this is fun. It'd probably be more fun if I knew what the hell I was doing. Uh... But, you know, it's just a thing. It's just a thing. It's fun to play. Sort of. <laughs> sort of. All right, let's get her dry. Now, the one thing I do remember was when you get this thing cleaned up, you store it 
in the package that it came in. So it doesn't, I guess, dry out was the, the way it was put to me. Um, because it's like this silicone-y, rubbery, whatever this is. I guess it dries out. I guess that makes sense. Uh, so anyway, I'm just trying to clean it up a little bit and not leave it all gross. Anyway, baby wipes seem to do a pretty good job. When the paint it's, starts to get a little ooky, spray it with water. That seemed to work pretty well. Uh, let's see here. The ones that we cleaned up after the, oh my God, you guys, the ones that we cleaned up after the class were quite, quite a mess. Um, also, you have to clean your brayer off. I kept kind of not doing this video because I have a brayer coming and I kept hoping it would get here in time so I didn't have to use this one. Uh, I don't know why I think this one was kind of ex it might not have been very expensive I don't remember anyway it didn't get here in time so and I really wanted to put out an unfiltered Friday because I haven't in so long and I feel bad about that so we use what we've got right right okay anyway I think I'll probably be taking this into the sink and giving it a good scrub-a-dub-dub, -dub. but I want to get most of the crap off while I'm in here because I might not be into the sink for another 20 or 30 minutes, and then it would be all dry and all yucky and all wrong. And while I am a mess, I do like to keep things nice for a few minutes after I first get them out. Okay, so here we are. This is pretty clean, I guess. I don't know. I think you just never get them like 100% clean. And I am somewhat reluctant to hit it with alcohol because, well, first of all, it's acrylic paint and it's water soluble, so this should do the trick. Right? Right. Okay. There's no more color coming off, so I'm just going to patty pat, patty pat it dry as best I can. And then somewhere under all of these <laughs> messes that I made, all right, here are the pieces of plastic that sandwiched this thing. So I'm just gonna, here now, stick them back on there. One. I don't know whether you need to do that or whether you just need to stick them back in the packaging, but I figure it certainly can't hurt. So there we are, that's done. Now we get our little plastic old package back out. Oh, you guys, I'm still snotty. I'm so tired of this. Stick that back in there and close it up. Janice, honey, help. <laughs> um, all right, so let's have another look at the, the messes I have wrought. Maybe I should put this back in there too, you think? Sure, because it's kind of invisible without it. There we go. Now we're all put back together. Let's see what we have here. I have, okay, let's go from the beginning. Number one, um, something about that ain't right. It was a cute idea though, and I have a lot more weeds in my yard, so maybe if we can get this figured out. I'm sure I'm gonna get some help. I'm, I'm, I'm sure, because my feeble brain. But Janice will help me, because she's great. This is pearls, and they turn out really pretty. Um, 
This is also pearls with lots of plant dandruff. <laughs> anyway, there's that. We have this, which turned out kind of cool. Um, I really do think that's kind of cool. It's still wet. And we have this, which turned out pretty cool. It's not very wet. There wasn't a lot of, of paint left because that was round two of that paint. And then I pulled up that stencil and we got this, which I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Is this supposed to be the outcome? Is this supposed to be the outcome? I don't know. All I know for sure is <laughs> these are not either one supposed to be the outcome. So, I don't know. I'm not mad. It was fun. I had a good time. Always, you guys, I'll drop a little truth on you. If you're not having fun, if, if you are pissed off when you screw up, maybe think of something else to do. Or maybe change your mindset when you come into your studio. I have had to do a lot of soul searching throughout this whole art journey. God, I hate that art journey. But honest to God, I have had to do a whole lot of talking to myself and shaking my own finger in my face and you know there's been some amount of crying and there's been some amount of cursing because I'm feral art I curse like a sailor um, I have pulled stuff off of my table in a fit of rage and chucked it in the trash can and that's not what this is all about I mean, yeah, everybody's going to be mad from time to time, and everybody's going to chuck shit from time to time, and, uh, you know, because we're just human. It's what we do. Sometimes we don't ride herd on ourselves very well, but if you are having a completely shit time, then maybe this isn't for you. And there's no shame in that, you know? Uh, big deal. Find something else. Crochet. Jeremy Massey has a, a crocheted YouTube channel um, that starts off from like, this is yarn, I think. Um, I haven't watched it much because I can't sit still. Uh, I have a hard time standing still. There's, there's, try resin, try oil painting, try expressive dance, try theater, try running five miles. I don't know, whatever turns you on, man, you know? Wild sex in the bushes, I don't know. But if this is not your thing, if coming into your studio and getting messy and <laughs> shooting paint all over the place and coming up with new weird crap isn't your thing, then why? And if it is your thing, if you get 60% joy out of it and 40%, I'm not sure yet, keep working on it because, you know, I'm a firm believer and if you can find joy in it, you can find more joy in it. Um, so, yay, unfiltered Friday. <laughs> anyway, I've had my play and I'm going to go edit this and see stick it on YouTube so y'all can laugh at me tomorrow. All right. All right. I love y'all. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. <laughs> please like this. Please leave me a comment. Please, please, please. You would be surprised how absolutely aggravating and devastating starting a YouTube channel can be. It's also a lot of fun. So, I mean, everything walks hand in hand, right? Yes, so. Um, so thanks for dropping by. I really, really do appreciate it. I don't know how I could say that any different. I really appreciate you guys. Some of y'all are just like firm hangers on and I, I couldn't love you any more than I do. All right.
So have a lovely rest of your evening, your day, wherever in the world you are that this airs. Have a lovely the rest of it, all right? And I will see you guys soon. Oh, oh, Nate's Art Lab has a new collab coming out uh, Saturday. This is airing Friday, so for y'all it would be tomorrow. Watch out for people's little blurbs because this should be a good one. We're doing pretty sunflowers, okay? So, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. Have a good one. Love y'all. See you later. Bye!